The final chapter of the Spring Garden Memorial Library is coming to an end. It's never been a boring day at Spring Garden, let me tell you that. There's, it's been the community hub for the, for the downtown. The staff is preparing to pack up and close down. But library goers still have three days to pick up books and leave their own personal mark. They're sharing their memories and messages to staff on old catalog cards. I'm going to miss all the staff and, you know, great time here. For more than 60 years, this place has been attracting people of all ages. It's simply a, a really welcoming place to, to come and everyone's always been really helpful. And you walk out with a book and, uh, yeah, books can change your life. I'm very much a local boy and our history is like what makes us strong. So I feel like if they have some way to remember this library with the new library, I think that'd be wonderful. That history is what brings many here. The library also serves as a war memorial. The Books of Remembrance are one of my favorite items here, and that's partly because it's connected to a program we offer called Lest We Forget, where we go out to high schools and community groups with service files from these individuals, and uh, we let them explore who these people were so they get an even more personal and intimate understanding of who they were and what they sacrificed their lives for. As for the building itself, there are still no plans on what will become of it. City staff are expected to come up with a list of recommendations on what to do with the property. It could be months before that goes to council. The Spring Garden Memorial Library will close its doors for good this Saturday. The new Halifax Central Library will open across the street this fall. And if you're wondering, any books taken out here are due at the new location this December. Christine Pugalayan, CBC News, Halifax.